everybody's got to have a guy or a girl. You've got to have someone who can do electrical or plumbing, or if you're like me, you can't really do much of anything. And especially, you've got to have somebody fixing your vehicles. Here's some people I want you to consider in Burlington. Plains Road and Maple, the auto station. Phone number, uh, there's the website. We'll check on more on that in a second, but I want to introduce you to the owner because he's got an interesting story as to why he got into this business after retiring from the auto industry in his late 40s, was going to uh, golf his way into the next life, but uh, decided to change things. Steve Steve, uh, Steve Thompson, I want to introduce you and to interrupt you here. Uh, I know John's working away right here, but just give us an idea why you decided you were going to get back into business again. Well, you know, the thing that happened for me is I had a, a headlight go out of my truck, and I took my car into the dealer, and uh, the repair order was to replace the entire light assembly in the corner to replace this light bulb, and that was an $1,100 repair. So I took that, and I thought, well, that's a, that's a lot of money for a light bulb. A couple of weeks later, the light bulb on the other side is well, like what have it. It went out as well. And I thought, wow, maybe I'll try something different. I'll try an independent repair shop. And a friend of mine, Brent Level, who's here with us now, he's working and uh, managing customer service here. Brent said, yeah, I think I could do that. It'll be about $40. And I thought, wow, you know, $40? One side 40 one side 1100 You know what? Five years later. Which did you like better? They're both working now. It's hard to say, but I think I like the $40 side the best. <laughs> So based on that, we decided that, you know what, maybe we can offer this level of service. We get it out to some folks and do some, you know, do some good things. And the claim to fame for this place is the training and equipment. Basically, yeah. Our motto here is it's uh, dealer level expertise at neighborhood value. And the, the point there is that we have the tools. All the guys have the training. We know that when this car comes in or that car comes in, we know how to fix the cars. We know how to diagnose the cars. And we know how to make a permanent proper repair. The other thing is we know that when people come in, it's about the community. If a mom is having trouble with, you know, taking the kids to school, she's got trouble with the car, the number one thing is that she gets the kids to school, not that she gets the car fixed. So that's how we respond. We respond with courtesy cars. We respond with the servicing people's immediate needs and getting them back to their busy lives. Thanks for this. Sorry to interrupt. John, go back ahead doing what you're doing. I want to introduce you to, or not introduce you to, but show you one more thing. Now, this is an equal opportunity place. We've got managers. We've got service people. We've got great mechanics here uh, at this particular spot. And I want to introduce you to, where's Serena? Serena is on staff here. Serena is a female mechanic. You don't see too many of those around. And not only that, hi, Serena, but only that, you also has pink equipment, so none of the guys steal it. <laughs> 